Welcome to This Week in Gilador, this series that everyone loved so much that I made like 8 episodes a couple of years ago about it, but uh, yeah, now it's back. And for those uninitiated about it, essentially This Week in Gilador was a series where I went with, through the update that had happened that week on Thursday, now on Wednesday because they fucking changed it for some reason, and uh, I would just essentially detail some of the changes that happened in a very self-deprecating humor way, because I actually don't have confidence enough that my jokes are funny, so uh, yeah, that's what you have to deal with. And this week, and oh, what a great start, DOB and remote changes, which is to say, we looked at them as a mess good, and we said, yeah, we should have done it like that the first time, shouldn't we? Because, yeah, fucking DOB and remote before these changes, it wasn't entry mode, it was like easier mode, but it definitely wasn't fucking entry, and the fact that it's required for a fucking quest is even more baffling. But yeah, uh, most of the changes that, you know, you see in Tombs of a Mascot, or I guess, you know, if you've done entry mode in Tombs of a Mascot, essentially, now that's how TOV works. And also, they have finally removed the 100th KGP that you fucking would lose every time you would fucking die in entry mode, because yeah, apparently a fucking entry mode needs a 100k fucking markup. Yeah, it's not enough they fucking die enough during Dragon Slayer 2, you have to fucking pay here as well. On top of that, we have the combat achievements for the Muspa, because the Phantom Muspa. Because, you know, releasing the fucking achievements when the boss came out was too much of a fucking asshole, wasn't it? You know, so much so that, you know, you grinded the boss once by, you know, when it came out, and now you have to grind it again, because it's twice as fun now, huh? And that is if you want to obviously keep the rewards, because at the end of the day they still haven't changed the two-point system, so you still lost the fucking rewards, or I guess there's a grace period, but you still need to fucking do them again, so yeah. We also have the delay when you are depositing pay dirt into the upper uh, in the model of mine thing uh, removed which you know the content in model of mine is so amazing that i'm sure that everyone really realized that that was an actual change which is to say no one actually fucking did because that's mobile content that's second monitor content right and don't worry i'm still sure that someone will find a fucking way of spinning this into the game is becoming too easy or some bullshit like that, right? And lastly, we have a interesting change, I guess. So, uh, the dragon candles have been correctly labeled as a fan weapon. A candle. Fan weapon. Look, I don't know what kind of game Jagex thinks this is, but this is not that kind of game, okay? And that was it for the first episode of uh, This Wicking Eleanor, and uh, I'm still getting into the swing of things, I'm sure you realize that. But uh, yeah, if you don't like it, 